grab your passports, grab your flight tickets, or going over the pond to the other coastline. Beer, 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 ba, beer, ba, beer, beer, beer. Oh, that, that was a little different. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to me, Mate Brewski, from the Rooski Brewski Review. And today, the beer I have for you, like I said, is across the pond on the other coastline. This is from Four Pure Brewing Co. This is their Coastline Gooseberry and Vanilla Dry Hopped Sour with a very beautiful beach looking can with some mountains in the background. Very, very nice. Like I said, across the pond, Four Pure Brewing Co. is from. Where is it? Where is it from? I'm trying to find out. Bum, ba, da, bum, ba, da, bum, London, United Kingdom. Uh, Bermondsey Trading Estate, London, United Kingdom. So that's where the beer's coming from, but you can find it in your LCBO, depending on which one you go to, though. So just something to note, but still, we can have international European beers. Well, it might not be European anymore. It might just be the UK, <laughs> depending on how uh, the Brexit goes. But that's a whole other thing that I will not get into. But little jokes here and there. Coastline, gooseberry and vanilla dry hopped sour. Alcohol by volume. It is coming in at a whopping 6% ABV and IBUs is 30. So not too bad, but a little high actually for a sour beer. I'm very excited to see how it turns out. So let's crack this bad boy open. Let's pour it up into this regular glass because I still haven't bought any glassware yet. And I've been here for almost two weeks. Shame on me, I know. Let's pour it up and pour a little bit on the table. Why not? Why the fuck not? And let's pour a little bit more. Looking at the beer, nice golden color, yellowy gold. Let's just close that. We don't need that open. That uh, shouldn't be open in the video. Um, but yeah, nice golden color. Slightly, um, there is a slight tinge of something in there. I want to say pinkish, but I know that's not right. But some way, somehow, my I, that's total bullshit. <laughs> Not too much head on that particular pour. Slightly hazy, nothing crazy though. Very, very nice. Some smell. <clears throat> you do smell the sour portion of the beer. Also smells like some weed that I bought. <laughs> There's a skunky, weedy smell with, uh, I guess that's the gooseberries and, and a touch of vanilla in, in, in the aroma. But definitely more sour for it with a bit of vanilla sweetness and some sort of berry, which in this case is probably gooseberry. No, it does not smell like geese. Nice aroma, light, not punching you in the nose, but still, still there. Let's have a sip. Whoa. Whoa. I think I found the beer that is by far one of the best sours I've ever had, in my opinion. And this brings me back to a debate that, or not a debate, but a thing that we had in one of my classes at Niagara College in the uh, communications class, and we were going over uh, the, the sour beers. Not a lot of people in my uh, program really, really like them. You know, they, they don't, they're not a big fan of them. Me, it doesn't matter. I'm not a huge fan. I don't dislike them at all. I, and enjoy it. I think this may be the sour that actually changes the mindset of some people. Because, one, it is really fruity. Gooseberries, I've had them before, so I kind of know what they taste like, and that is on point. Two, the sour portion of the beer is there. It's present, but it's not in your face. Mouth puckering, just oh, too much sour. Three, also because sour beers, at least for me, do a weird thing with my slab and make it a bit more gummy and sticky. That doesn't happen, or at least not to a regular sour's degree. And thirdly, the vanilla, the addition of the vanilla in here, cuts through that sour beautifully, leaving a very nice 
mm, delectable, velvety smooth mouthfeel that you don't get from other sours, or at least none that I have found. So holy shit, cheers everybody, let's keep on drinking. I think I found the best sour for non-sour drinkers. This is like a sour candy. Not like a Sour Patch Kids, not like a Warhead, but in the sense that it is a perfect balance between sweet and sour, and oh, damn. I was kind of nervous. I really didn't want it to be a sour. I kind of just picked it up because I saw it from the UK and had a really cool um, can design on it. I like the texture of it, too. Sorry, getting a little carried away there. But wow, this is a really cool can. Was disappointed that it was a sour. It wasn't really wanting a sour at the moment, but woohoo, this changes the game. Mouthfeel, light to moderate mouthfeel. Light to moderate body, doing damn well. Looking on the can, we got a uh, hops that is uh, paragliding, or yep, parasailing, gliding over a river in a coastline. There you go. See, you can kind of see that. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful mountains in the background. Oh, I'm a big fan of this can design. Pops at you. Nothing overbearing. Just very simple, but boom, very effective. On the back, we do have an ingredients list, and it reads, warm sun, a cool breeze, and a comfortable chair with an ocean view are not prerequisites for enjoying a coastline, but they help. Gooseberry and fresh vanilla pods create a beer that is lightly sour with sweet notes from the vanilla, fruity tartness from the gooseberries, and a hoppy notes from plentiful amounts of citra hop. An everyday sour. By far a very accurate description of this beer, and I should have guessed that they use citra because that just is a very, to me, a light, tropical, flavorful, ooh, beautiful hop. But that is really cool. Oh my god. I am, wow. I'm still a little shocked about this beer. Proct of England. Always store, serve cold. Best before see base of kin. And I will in a few. Again, uh, 22 and 23 Bermondsey. Trading Estate, London, United Kingdom. Ingredients. Water, barley, oats, lactose. Makes sense. Uh, wheat, gooseberry, hops, vanilla, and yeast. Like I said, ABV 6%. Um, I guess units of alcohol for any of my European viewers, it's 2.6 UK units. Original gra gravity of 14.7 degrees Play-Doh. Um, IBUs of 30, EBC, which I'm pretty sure is the European equivalent to um, SRM in color. Uh, it's 272 calories, so that's something to note for you Weight Watchers out there. Um, best served at 8 degrees Celsius and volume as well, a 440 ml can. Tons of information there. I love how they list the that it is using a Citra hop. Um, anything else? Oh, yes, blue run date on the bottom. Oh, I love this. Canned on March 19th, 20... Whoop, sorry. March 28th, 2019. So, definitely a little bit older, but best before March 27th, 2020. So, you can keep it for just under a year. So, that's a really cool thing as well. I love how they have both, again, clearly labeled. That's one thing I've noted. Yes, you may have it on your can of Best Before Brewed On Date, but if you can't read it, one, that's not helpful for the consumer, and two, you're wasting your money because you're not getting equipment that, you know, prints properly. And if I was in a business and a businessman, which one day I hope to be, I would want to make sure my expensive, expensive equipment works well. Please, breweries, if you're canning, if not, if, if your labels for, um, well, anything, but also your brewed on date or best before date, do not come out perfect. Restamp it until it does, or just scrap that machine, send it back, grab a new one, and do it right because you're only hurting yourself. That's a business tip from Nikolai Dusso, aka Maple Ruski. I don't know why I just said that. Moving on to the website, fourpure.com, and four is spelled the letter, the letter four, Jesus, number four. Uh, for pure.com, you go over to the website, you go to the beer section, and you scroll down a little bit. 
And then in a few sections, they have the core range, which we are going to pass. We're going to go down to the pioneer range. Scrolling down, they have a ton of beer. Holy Jesus. I'm a big fan. You find Coastline, you go to either Quick Buy or Explore. I'm gonna go to Explore because I can't buy it off the website without paying mass amounts of money because it has to cross over to here. Moving forward, Coastline, Gooseberry and Vanilla, Sour, 6.0% ABV. Uh, does have the same exact locate, uh, not location, description as the can, which is great. And then has the brew sheet listing again all the information on the can but it does add final gravity which isn't here final gravity being 4.2 degrees play-doh moving down about more moving down a bit more thirsty by this beer it sends you a link or sends you to another page of where you can find the beer luckily for us here in canada or at least in ontario and at least depending on where your lcbo is you can find it at the lcbo for a whopping 375 for a 440 ml almost tall boy can so 375 i mean it, it, it it's a little bit up there in price but you're getting a really damn fucking good beer so totally worth it and it's international so you can't go wrong it, it's always fun to get stuff from other places that you normally can't and oh my god the balance between sweet and, and just fruity and the sour and the oh this is gonna change games it does not taste anything like baby barf which some people say it say sours do this is not overly sour where it's just gonna wreck your taste buds it is a great balance in my opinion holy Jesus I'm gonna bring this can to class tomorrow and be like guys hold up this is what you need for a sour beer. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make some heads turn. Finally, moving over to Untapped, Coastline from Four Pure Brewing Co. has been given a 3.7 bottle caps out of five, and that's out of just, uh, just yeah, right in the middle of 4,850 reviews. So that's awesome. A ton of people, actually thousands of people, have enjoyed the beer. And that's as always a good, a good time. So with that said, guys, cheers on the final sip. Let's get ready to rings and wrap this thing up. Gooseberries are already, are already pretty sour of a berry. And adding that to a sour, you'd think, oh my god, this is going to be absolutely just crazy sour but it's not it's cut beautifully with the vanilla balancing everything out to an amazing amazing sour this has got to be by far my favorite sour my best favorite fucking sour i've had and i'm sorry i'm sorry canada craft brewing ontario craft brewing but this this kind of stole my heart when it comes down to the sour style of beer it, 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 it just did. I'm, I, I kind of like this. Mwah. It's a beautiful thing. That's why Coastline from 4 Pure Brewing Co. has been given a solid 10 out of 10. As for presentation, I am again in love with the can design. It is awesome. It's got some texture to it. It is a taped can, which is fine, but it's taped well. The can has a little ooh, inspired by adventure slogan on the top and brewed and canned in London. Great information from ABV, IBU, uh, equivalent to SRM. Original gravity, calories. Serving temp, size. Well, size is always there. Uh, ingredients, um, What's the word? Description and a legible brood on and best for date. Ooh, you got it. Website looks great. Looks really nice. It looks like they got a lot of damn beer. Nice uh, dedicated page for the beer. Sadly, no real big picture. No, I like big picture of the beer. I like that. And some other information, especially it can, uh, can be a bit, a bit. containing the final gravity, which you can't find on the can, is a nice finishing touch. So presentation also gets a solid 10 out of 10 for me. 
This has been a, oh, just a beautiful beer, beautiful time. I looked at it, and you know what? Sometimes you got to judge a book by its cover. I looked at it, and I thought, that's going to be interesting. I have no idea what it is. Didn't even read it. I just grabbed it. So, yeah, that is uh, ooh, awesome. If you can find Coastline, definitely go grab it at your LCBO because ooh, you won't be disappointed. Even if you're not, if you're a little iffy on the sours, I can definitely recommend you at least trying it, especially for 375. It's not that much money. It is why it just blew my mind. And I don't gush about beers this much. I, I know I gush sometimes, but whoa, this one just blew my mind. I need more of this. So with that said, guys, before I leave you, if you have any comments, questions, or beers you want to review in the future, you can leave all that information down the comment box below. If you want to go ahead and like the video or subscribe to me, Mick Brewski, or have any beers you have in a review in the future, you leave all that information down in the comment box below. I think that just about wraps it up. So with all that said, that's going to do it for me, Mick Brewski. Like I always say, crack and enjoy. Cheers. I'm gonna change so many people's opinion. I hope, I hope they grab it and see the light. Because sours can put up a fight. But I found one that is really fun to drink. Cheers.